Hi everyone, Mark Lichtenfeld here. I'm the Chief Income Strategist of the Oxford Club. Welcome to State of the Market, and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video of State of the Market. My career started just as the dot-com boom was beginning, and I was a trading maniac, buying and selling all of those garbage companies, sometimes in the same day. Now, the market was going up, and I was making money, and then the market stopped going up, and in fact, it went down quickly, and so did my trading account. Fortunately, I had enough sense to see the bear market, so I stopped trading so aggressively. But a funny thing happened. One day, I looked at my long-term holdings, and they were doing just fine. Now, they had certainly gotten hit during the dot-com collapse fueled bear market, but I'd bought these investments years before, and I was still way ahead. Now, one of the luckiest things to ever happen to me, besides for being assigned a dorm room on the third floor across the hall from the girl who had become my wife, Aww. was the discovery in my early 20s of buy and hold investing. Not nearly as romantic, but almost as significant. Now, starting from my first paycheck, which was the princely sum of $346 per week before taxes, I started investing for the long term. And I can tell you that putting away even a small amount consistently all those years ago has made a profound difference in my financial life. Or squirreling away money for my kids' education for 18 years has meant that they don't have to take out any student loans. And when you're invested for the long term, a bear market isn't nearly as stressful. Now, if you're new here, I'm the dividend guy. I wrote the book on dividends, which is an international bestseller and is published in four languages. So most of my long-term investments and recommendations are focused on dividend stocks, especially what I call perpetual dividend raisers, companies that raise their dividends every year. And we expect to hold those stocks for years. And these stocks can help you weather the worst bear markets. Consider this. The Dividend Aristocrat Index, which is made up of stocks that are in the S&P 500 that have raised their dividends every year for at least 25 years, have never lost money over rolling 10-year periods going back to the early 1990s when the index started, and that includes both the dot-com crash and the financial crisis. Whoa, back it up, back it up. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. So think about that for a minute. If you sold your portfolio that you had held for 10 years, during the worst of the dot-com crash or the mortgage meltdown, you were still up. That is incredible. And it's why I continue to invest in perpetual dividend raisers for myself and my kids. Yes, my 20-year-old has a portfolio of perpetual dividend raisers that he's owned since he was about 10. So let's talk about a few perpetual dividend raisers that you can consider putting in your portfolio for the long term. We'll start with my favorite drug company, AbbVie, ticker symbol ABBV. Now this stock yields 4.5% and has raised the dividend every year for nine years and at a very fast pace. Over the past five years, dividend growth has averaged more than 18%. AbbVie has the best-selling drug in the world, Humira, and has several cancer blockbusters and a deep pipeline. Now I expect it to continue to raise the dividend for years to come. Speaking of pipelines, my favorite pipeline company is Enterprise Products Partners, ticker symbol EPD. The company's pipelines transport oil and gas throughout much of the United States, and it pays a juicy 8.1% dividend yield and has grown the dividend every year for 24 years. That's a long time ago. Heck, I was just getting started trading dot-com stocks 24 years ago. The last company I'm going to talk about today is Next Era Energy Partners, ticker symbol NEP. This is the renewable energy arm of the utility giant NextEra Energy. It yields 4.2% and importantly, management expects to grow the dividend by 12 to 15% per year for the foreseeable future. That's enough to keep up with even today's high inflation rate and the dividend has grown every year since the company began paying one in 2014. NextEra Energy Partners invests in solar and wind projects around the country that generate lots of free cash flow, and that free cash flow is then used to pay investors their dividend. As they say on those late night infomercials, but wait, there's more. The dividend is tax advantage. It's not expected to be taxable for several years. Instead, it's considered a return of capital, which lowers your cost basis. You'll be taxed when you sell, but not in the year in which the income is received. So owning companies like these should help you create wealth over the long term, regardless of whether the market goes up or down. And here's a pro tip. When you have your long-term investments locked down, it makes trading a lot less stressful and more fun.
Now, if you'd like to invest using perpetual dividend raisers to provide more income and grow your wealth, I'd be happy to help you. Just click on the link for more information on the Oxford Income Letter, where I recommend new dividend stocks and other income building ideas every single month. Thanks for watching State of the Market. I'm Mark Lichtenfeld. I will see you next time.